Hey everyone, so today I want to talk a little bit about something different when it comes to investing because typically when we talk about investing, whether it's on this channel or pretty much anybody else's channel on YouTube, it's mainly either the stock market or real estate, but there's actually another type of investment that most people don't talk about and that's because it's a fairly new type of investment for the average person and this is with investing in art. Now, in case you're not too familiar, investing in art typically costs a lot of money, especially if you're somebody who wants to buy some of the most popular paintings out there. Now, I know for some people this might seem strange or kind of weird because it's not something that's talked about a lot, but there's actually a company out there called Masterworks that is actually making it possible to have partial ownership in some of the biggest art pieces in the world. So I found this fascinating and I thought I'd want to share this with you guys in case you're maybe interested in diversifying your portfolio even more. Hey everyone, Dennis here with the True Financials channel where we love to talk about ways to make money, save money, and invest money like in today's video. Like I mentioned, we're going to be talking about a company called Masterworks. So I actually found out about them when I went to a financial conference and I thought this was kind of interesting. So I thought, hey, why not share it with you guys? See if maybe you're interested in finding more out about them. And if not, totally cool too. Um, I just like to share new and interesting information when it comes to investing money for, you know, the future. So we're going to hop here on their website and I'm going to kind of take you guys through some of the information pieces that they have here um, just so that way you can kind of have an idea of who they are and what they kind of do. I actually met the the CEO of the company at FinCon, which is the financial conference I went to. So I thought I would just share again this information with you because I think it's pretty cool. So here on their website, this is going to have pretty much the whole basis of what their uh, thing is all about. So it says join an exclusive community of blue chip art investors, which is again, something most people haven't heard of before. So this is essentially letting you buy into some of the biggest art pieces. Now, if you're like me and don't know a lot about art, not a lot of this is going to make sense at first, but if you are, you know, paying attention and looking at different ways to diversify your portfolio, this could be an option. Now there is currently a wait list to actually even get into the opportunity to buy into these different art pieces which is pretty cool. Um, that means that they are getting a lot of interest in people getting into the actual platform. So right over here, um, it's kind of giving you some examples of what the purchase price was for certain uh, art pieces and then what they are selling for. Obviously, it doesn't give you the exact time frame of when they bought and sold these. And I don't know if this is all of theirs or just in general in the overall market of art when things got purchased and sold. Now, it was funny because before I actually met these guys at FinCon, I did actually hear a story about Jay-Z and how a lot of his fortune is actually tied up in art. So I actually did have an understanding that art does have a lot of value. I don't know particularly why in some cases, but obviously there is some room for growth when it comes to potentially having your money work for you in a different avenues. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into the how it works and then I'm going to break down some of the costs to actually get involved with buying art and holding it and then selling it as well because this company essentially does most of it for you, similar to if you were to buy a stock in the market with like Robinhood or M1 Finance. So we're gonna go to how it works and here it says the first investment uh, platform for art. It says for the first time you can purchase shares representing ownership of a painting similar to how you would purchase shares in a traditional company. Here's how we do it, which is literally what I just kind of said. So it says there's three steps here. So it says Masterworks sources paintings and commits its capital to purchasing them. So it says number two here, we file an offering circular with the Securities and Exchange Commission to offer it publicly, which I know when I was talking to them was a really important thing because obviously they have partial ownerships with multiple different people. So it is really important for them to have the Securities and Exchange Commission be part of this process. So here it says, number three, investors can invest in paintings by purchasing shares. And then number four says, Masterworks sells the paintings and the proceeds are distributed accordingly. So depending on how many shares you own in that particular um, art piece, then it determines how much you'll get paid once they are sold. Now, as we keep going down here, uh, it says how we select paintings. It says we purchase only paintings by top performing artists. We use a database of more than 1 million auction records. Uh, we select the artists that meet our investing objectives. Similar to companies, different artists have different appreciation and risk profile. So that's pretty interesting how there's differences based off of different artists and with their database, they can actually have a determination of which artists that want to purchase with, which ones have opportunities for growth as well. So in the artist section, it says we select works by artists who we believe have demonstrated traded favorable risk reward profiles based on prior auctions sales results like we talked about 
says example selection once we've chosen an artist we also focus on the ideal example by the artist to increase the odds that there will be demand for the work when we go to resell it and it says database decisions our assessment of the historical appreciation rate and the risk is based on historical auction data collected and analyzed by our research team so here it says how we analyze art understanding the investing criteria of a painting says questions we ask about each painting we bring into the master work platform. Does the artist have a global collection base? What is the artist appreciation rate? Is there significant demand for the artist? And do we understand the risk volatility of the artist's market? So those are ways that they analyze that art. So here it says, how do investments work? It says paintings are displayed in our gallery until they are sold to private collectors. Our intention is to hold each painting for a three to five year period to allow it to appreciate in value, but it will be continuously offered for sale. At any time, a collector can make an offer to buy the painting that you've invested in. And if the painting is sold, your shares of the net proceeds will, if any, be distributed to you. Now, uh, I'm going to go into the fees and everything here in just a little bit. Like I mentioned, um, just a few other little pieces here. It says a members only gallery. Um, their gallery is based in Soho, New York. So if you're in the area, you can actually go and walk in. Um, it says professional storage. While not on display, paintings are stored in Delaware Freeport, a 3,600 3, square foot of full climate control, museum quality, security, art storage. And it says plan liquidity windows. We are working with the appropriate regulatory bodies to create the means for investors to trade shares after a mandatory lockup period, which effectively means that if you buy into an art piece, but maybe you don't want to hold on to it after a year and a half, you can sell it to another collector um, so they can have the ownership increase for themselves. Because I believe with the art that there's only going to be so many shares being sold for each one. So it's not like in the stock market where there's millions of shares out there, it'll be in much smaller quantities. So you'll be able to sell after your mandatory hold period, but it looks like that feature is not available yet. All right. So before we go ahead and check out and see what the fees are for utilizing masterworks, if you're getting some value out of this video so far, do me a solid and hit that like button down below. It does really help out the channel and the algorithm. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get back into this video. Let's go ahead and check out what these fees are for Masterworks. All right, so going back onto the main page here, um, like I mentioned, by the way, they have that wait list. Um, if you actually want to check out their website, I'll have it linked in the show notes down below. You guys can check that out. Um, I might actually test them out too, maybe even join in on the wait list because I'm always curious on ways to invest my money. So we're going to scroll down over here. Uh, down a little bit further, which by the way, they also have their search art market returns. So you can actually even test all this stuff out too. So you can see the different uh, artists, what they purchased for, what they sold for, and then how much of the return is. Uh, these ones actually show you the years between when they were purchased last and when they were sold last. So that way it actually gives you a really good idea of their returns um, and if it's worth it for you. Uh, to be able to purchase into this idea of buying art. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this part right here where it says, how does it work for uh, the first time ever? Um, it allows you to purchase uh, fractional interest in great art. Um, it says that we purchase blue chip art, which we talked about. It says anyone can invest. After we purchase a painting, we file an offering circular with the securities and exchange like we talked about. As a shareholder, you can give certain rights affordable to you under securities law of the US and you can rely on the disclosure in our public filing. All right, so let's go ahead and keep scrolling down here. So right over here, we're gonna see where it says uh, management fees. It says we charge a 1.5 annual management fee to cover distribution costs, regulatory expenses, filing and ongoing audit expenses, storage, gallery space, insurance, and other expenses. Plus, we earn 20% of the profit if the painting increases in value. Please read the offering circular on each specific offering to fully understand the methodology for calculating the annual management fee and the potential future profits. So the fee is 1.5% per year and then 20% of the profits, which actually seems pretty high to me personally. Now, of course, that depends on each person. You can let me know in the comments down below if that seems really high for you as well. But if some of the types of returns that they're talking about is true and you're getting a really good growth on your money over the next three to five years, 20% of the profit, I don't know if that's gonna diminish your returns quite a bit or if that's still gonna give you a much better return than investing in stocks or even in the real estate game. But again, you are also diversifying your portfolio into different types of uh, assets, which is a really cool thing. And then there's another piece on here. It says, how do I monetize my investment? It says, we will actively attempt to sell paintings to gain 
for our investors. If after seven years, there is no other means for shareholders to sell or redeem their shares, such as trading in the market or a bulletin board, we will endeavor to sell the paintings on or before the 10 year anniversary of the offering, including considering sending the painting to auction. In addition, we are seeking ways to provide liquidity to our investors, including a means by which they can sell their shares to other investors throughout the Masterworks platform or a third party trading system. Though we cannot assure you when or if the liquidity option will become available, even if and when you are able to monetize your investment, there is no assurance that you will receive more than what you paid for for the share. So, you know, that is definitely, of course, risk just like any other type of investment. So it just depends on each person whether that is something that's worth testing out for you. So again, if you are interested in checking them out and seeing what they're all about, I'll link them up in the show notes down below. You can check them out. But if you want to keep on watching more videos when it comes to investing and growing your money for the future, check out this video right over here to keep on growing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.